the first guy coming up to the stage is awesome. Okay. I felt that that was very important to adjust that microphone stand, so. The first, the, uh, the first, well, I'm a comic, whatever, fuck it. The first comic coming to the stage is a really good friend of mine. He is a co-star of Strange Bedfellows. Yay! Yes. He's a swell guy and an awesome comic. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. David Marie Garland. Hello. Hello. So I have to be up early tomorrow? I have to deliver some babies? No, I'm not a doctor. I just have a truck full of babies. <laughs> Speaking of babies, there's this baby store called Rattle and Roll. I guess they left the shake part out of it because you know, shaking babies is the number one cause of death among babies, next to baby AIDS. <laughs> but you know what they say, when life gives you babies, make baby AIDS. <laughs> Speaking of AIDS, what's the difference between kids and AIDS? What? One letter! Yes. I know this guy named Alan, and he's a homo, which is short for homeowner. I'm joking, he's gay. So the other day, my best friend told me that he's been sleeping with my wife. And I was like, that must be awkward. Because she suffers from insomnia and sleep apnea. <laughs> but seriously, my wife died recently. I guess that means I'm in a long distance relationship. <laughs> Have you ever driven across a bridge before and halfway across the bridge you put your turn signal on to make the person behind you think you're gonna drive off the bridge? <laughs> Did you know that 30% of men are actually just two six-year-old boys? It's true. Theodore Roosevelt once said, I dream of men who take the next step instead of worrying about the next thousand steps. Uh, Mr. President, did you just say that you dream about men? What are you, gay? Speaking of the Roosevelts, Eleanor Roosevelt never needed to cheat on her husband because FDR was so good at eating pussy. <laughs> you see, he had to be, because as a child he had polio, and as a result he lost the use of his legs and his dick. And back in those days, vibrators didn't have batteries and the cords were only this long. And so if you're a woman, you'd have to be like right up against the wall using it. And that's not very comfortable. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> but speaking about Eleanor Roosevelt, she was a screamer. That means that when she has an orga orgasm, she would scream. So oftentimes, Secret Service men would hear yells coming from the presidential bedroom and kick down the door to see the President of the United States of America eating the First Lady's pussy. And if you're a Secret Service man and that's your first day, talk about awkward. Thank you all very much, God bless. Give it up for David Marie Garland, everybody.